Welcome to this tutorial, which will show you how to get started with Final Cut Library Manager. Once launched, Final Cut Library Manager displays on the right all of the libraries that it's found on your devices, which are themselves listed to the left. You can decide to only display those present on certain drives with a simple click. If one of your drives isn't present, probably because it isn't indexed by Spotlight, then you can manually add one or more libraries. You may now sort your libraries as you please, ordering them by their last modification, for example, or by alphabetical order. And if you're looking for one in particular, you can use the search field. A double click allows you to open a library in Final Cut Pro. As usual, this will open the library alongside the other ones that have already been opened, which you have to close one by one. Now, Final Cut Library Manager allows you to open a library by itself. Simply hold down the Option key when you double click Final Cut Pro will only open this library. Note that you also have access to these options with a right click. Finally, let's look at the principal feature, cleaning up. Sort your libraries by size to instantly find the biggest ones. Better still, sort them by the biggest potential space saving so that the libraries on the top of the list will be those that give you back the most disk space after they've been cleaned. You can now choose which media file types to clean. The render files, which Final Cut Pro will recreate automatically the next time you open the library. The proxies and the optimized media files, which you can recreate from within Final Cut Pro when you need them. One click on the trash button and all of these unnecessary files will be sent to your max trash. To go even faster, you can do the same thing for several libraries at once. Select your libraries, even an entire drive, choose the media types to clean, and send them to the trash. Note that a warning will alert if one of your optimized media files doesn't have an accessible original file, which could open if your original files are on an offline drive or if they've been deleted in error. In this case, Final Cut Library Manager will only remove the optimized files for which the original can be located. This test is done file by file for maximum security. It's over to you, give it a try. If you have any remarks or suggestions for the next version, then please pass them along using the option in the help menu. And please don't forget to support us by buying a copy of Final Cut Library Manager. To finish off, we'd like to invite you to try The Touch, a magical utility for controlling Final Cut Pro which, after a few minutes of practice, will allow you to free your creativity and become much more productive without ever taking your eyes off the image. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for listening.